Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to the base, probably for the final time. Yes, indeed, this is very likely going to be the very last episode, as almost everything is completely sorted. Honestly speaking, right now, although there's still a lot of messy sections to the base, a lot of stuff I quote unquote need to do, it really does feel like I could just leave this base now and they would survive. I can actually leave this manual airlock open and it doesn't burn anything anymore because of the amount of wheeze warts here and even wheeze warts in the steam geyser chamber and therefore we have unlimited water. We have unlimited food and we're doing absolutely fine for that even if I don't manually harvest them and in terms of power we have the hydrogen generator getting its power from the electrolyzers and of course we have the manual generators. We have pretty much won the game at this point, we can leave this colony forever. But I would like to do a few things before we go. The first thing we're going to do today is mess around with the textile factory. Tailors enhanced clothing items for duplicants. There we are. Good. And amazingly, whilst I was carving this out, we've actually got some of the thimble reed seeds and they've actually been able to grow because of how warm this area is from the steam geyser. So we actually have some fiber already available for us so we don't need to bother making ourselves a farm because this section Naturally, the first time I record today, the doorbell goes, so sorry for the very sharp cut there. Anyway, like I was trying to say, we already have the reed fiber, there's no point in trying to grow this elsewhere. It turns out the reeds are actually really annoying anyway, since they require temperatures between 25 and 45, and they are meant to be planted in the ground, sorry, in the liquid, in water, and I think polluted water works as well. Either way though, they would be a little bit annoying and apparently they work on the ground if you just drop the seeds so there we are we have the thimble reeds and what I will likely do is put some storage compactors down so that those seeds can be collected and we can have three more just growing down here all by themselves and although this is currently chilly this is warming up because of course it has this section over here feeding its heat very slowly though. So, where are we going to go ahead and put the textile factory? We could put it somewhere like this. This is just an empty space right now, just filled with the regular rock. So sure, let's put that there, somewhere nice and in the open. Does it generate heat? I can't imagine it will. Nope, doesn't generate heat and it has no effect on the decor, so of course that makes complete sense. And we'll just put down some regular gas permeable tiles, like so, and there we have it. I've also decided finally to start lifting some of the... there we are. Some of the blockages between the main base and this base over here, since now I am trying very hard to remove the polluted oxygen from this section, including finally mopping up all this horrible stuff down here and up here as well. So it, w it would be nice if both were completely accessible by each other, because then the hydrogen can start flowing properly. So get to work doing all of that and I'll be right back once all of that has taken place. It seems like our cooling system is really effective, far more effective than I originally thought it would be. The entire water section now is below 10 degrees. That's absolutely amazing, the whole area is just cooling down so rapidly. That looks really, really creepy. It's at moments like this you really remember that this game is made by the same group which brought us Don't Starve, because that looks so much like a creature from Don't Starve, it's sort of... it's just sort of freaky, honestly. Okay, so here are the options that we can go with. So, we have the snazzy suit, Increases the core in a small area around the wearer. Oh, that's amazing. It's so snazzy, people are happier when someone wearing this is nearby. Okay, that's absolutely amazing. Plus 30 as well, it's actually quite effective. 
The cool vest, minus 10 decor, but protects the wearer from heat by decreasing insulation. Oh, I see. Conductivity barrier zero. I wonder what they have naturally then. If that's zero and apparently making it less, um... Okay, so normally it's 0 0.45. This one would be plus... Okay, so it's just adding it? No. Because surely they're changing their clothes, so the snazzy suit would be less effective then. In the colder areas, but better in the hotter areas, which is what we want. Then the warm sweater, still minus decor, but will make you much better against the cold. I think snazzy suits... For everyone, everyone deserves a snazzy suit. How much fiber do we have available? I don't know. Well, I guess we're going to find out soon enough. Let's put it on maximum so it happens as quickly as possible and make me those. Insufficient resources. Are you sure? Let's see how much we actually have. How much did you just grab? A wounded person? I'm not sure. So, it's fairly obvious then that per reed harvest, I'm only getting one kilogram of the fiber, which isn't too bad since that will very, very quickly stack up. It's just that I've only now started growing these plants down here. Before this, we didn't have any of these plants growing anywhere, so we haven't really had a chance for that to stack up. So that's going to take a while, but thankfully this one is about to be harvested again. So whilst we wait for that, let's do a bit of planning for our new battery room, which is going to go somewhere here. Now, originally, I was intending on breaking through this wall and simply placing the batteries in the air somewhere here, but instead, I think what I'm going to do is dig down and have the batteries placed in here with some protection so that the gas can't escape, the heat, rather, can't escape the room and ultimately affect the ice zone and our base. The reason being is if I build it into something like this, I can be very choosy on where I place things like wheeze warts. At the moment, we found out that two wheeze warts can completely negate the heat being produced by three regular batteries. So I'm hoping four wheeze warts will be able to do the same for three of the larger batteries. Since the larger batteries are not double, it should make sense and it should work out for the best. So, for instance, we could build it something like this. Although maybe a bit more to the left, because that way we can avoid removing all of this abyssalite. And then we could have the wheeze warts in between. Or on top, if we leave this little bit of rock here, or we can have them below. And then, oh actually, that would likely be the best idea. What we could do is make wolframite sections like this. This, of course, conducts heat incredibly quickly, and then we will have the wheeze warts underneath and above the batteries. This way, from both sides, it has wolframite transferring heat, and, of course, the gas itself will be in a constant chamber of cold. I think that will work out just fine, although, like I say, not quite here. I mean, I mean, we could place it here, but then we would have to go down the route of adding abyssalite tiles like this. Well, not there, of course, because that is just pure, pure abyssalite, but still. Something like that, just to make sure the heat doesn't leak straight in, into the cold zone too fast. Then the same would go up here. Any heat which does manage to escape, we have the wheeze wart here, which will of course be preventing that. I may actually leave it like this. I think this will work out for the best. Just remove that one so I can put the ladder down. And then of course dig out anything else. So sadly I will be digging out some abyssalite. Like so. Remove that for a second. Remove that. Maybe only two batteries would do, since they are higher in capacity than the regular batteries. I don't know. 
I don't know, but something like this I think would definitely work. And that, of course, is the important thing. We could just have these two batteries smushed up against each other. But then, of course, they'd be heating up e each other too much. I don't really know, but for now, I will allow this to be built. So put this on seven, so not the most important thing in the world, but it would be nice if they got started on it soon. Okay, continue. And look, my stress is finally back down. Everyone is happy now they're not working down here in the heated section as much. Oh, though before I do this, I really should change some of these things I've just put down. So, the big change is, for the batteries, I want them to be made out of gold. Since with gold, they don't overheat quite as easily. The same could be said for the gas permeable tiles, but like I say, I do want them to conduct heat a little bit faster. But sadly, that does mean that the tiles can be destroyed if it gets too hot in there. We may end up changing that in the future and just allowing the air itself, which of course can circulate very, very easily, to be the only coolant. So naturally, I completely forgot, of course, that the wheeze warts need to be planted on a natural tile. So here we are with the updated version. And I think I will go ahead and do this as well. That way, none of the heat will be escaping this way. Okay, good. Hopefully this will just act as a giant cold room and will completely negate the three batteries. I'm really hoping that's how it works. And also, this way I can go straight ahead and go down here. Like so. Yay! I've also decided that all of the gas permeable tiles will be made out of gold, so none of them can overheat under any circumstance, although they won't be collecting the heat quite as quickly, so... Here's hoping it's worth it, and just the cold air in here will be good enough. Well, 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 I have found yet another one of the ice biomes, and a little bit of reed fiber, just there, for no reason. There's no reed, seed, or plant, just a lump of fiber. Sure, because why wouldn't there be? More wheeze watts. And here we go, finally the very first piece of clothing is being produced. And it still looks really, really creepy. It looks like some very, very weird form of torture, to be perfectly honest. I think there's actually a person inside of that mannequin. That is my theory right now. And let's see what happens afterwards. Almost finished. There it is. We have one suit. So do we have to, like... I don't know how this works, honestly. So with the snazzy suit currently on the floor... If I can click it, that would be glorious. There we go. Okay, so I actually have to tell someone to have it. Um, Mima, you've been with us almost for the longest, and you're right there having a poop. You get the snazzy suit. As soon as you're finished having a poop. I'm also building a medical a medical cot now, so we can start healing the people with moderate wounds. I thought it would go away by itself. Maybe it still does, but it's taking a very long time. Now you're Mary. Where's Mima? Nope, stop. Okay, eventually you'll go over here. Okay, so that was very glitchy. Apparently Mima picked up the outfit in which it didn't show any sort of change. And then, after a while, I decided, well, I'll press a button, which no longer exists, which simply said, unequip clothing. So perhaps unequip and re-equip, it'll simply work then. And then the clothing vanished. Wait, does Mary have it on her? Did I click the wrong one in the first place? Is that what I've done? No. So where is the snazzy suit? It's over here. Okay, once again, let's try again, and give this to Mima. Please. I just don't get why the snazzy suit isn't being picked up. It's not like it's going to be covered in poop or anything at this stage. Maybe it needs to be swept into a container first, and only then can it be equipped? I mean, other than that, I really don't know. What? 
what? Why is the snazzy suit down there? I have no idea what's currently going on with this. I've even restarted the game, and it seems like it just doesn't work as intended at the moment. I mean, the thermal upgrade is still on the... Is it still on the beta branch, the unstable branch? Because it certainly feels like it. How did it get down there? Okay, here's something. The snazzy suit apparently is here, and yet it doesn't look like it is anymore. So does that mean that Frankie is actually wearing it? Where was the stats I need to find this? Um, equipment, suit, snazzy suit. But that's the wrong level of thickness, isn't it, though, for clothing? Wasn't the snazzy suit, like, 30 or something? Oh, no, he's definitely wearing it, though. You can see the little thing going on there. Okay, so it's more of a glitch of the game not figuring out where the item is. Okay, so maybe Mima had actually picked it up earlier on and then moved it, and then when I changed the owner, they dropped it. Okay, I think I know what's going on now. It's still a bit weird looking, but it's not as glitchy as I originally thought. All of the Weezwort seeds are now in place, and the temperature already is very, very cold in this little box. So it's time to close this, or at least put it back on auto, and set up the power lines. So this line is going to take the place of the vital components. So it's going to go down and connect to both of these air pumps, this lovely... What are you called? Electrolyzer, in addition to the regular pump, and if we go back up to this electrolyzer here. The other line will now only be used for the fertilizers, for the for the different things which don't always need to be on, such as the clothing maker and the supercomputers in addition, of course, to the fertilizer as just mentioned, and perhaps things like this, like the air scrubber. Okay, so what I'll do is attach them almost, so as soon as we're ready, we can then start everything working straight away. And leave that as well, okay. I think we are almost good to go. So you two want to be connected, and I want to disconnect this. And again, I will disconnect as soon as I connect these. And then I can also add some more manual generators, because at this point, I don't really need my lovely minions running around everywhere anymore, so they can spend much more time just in the base generating power. And now it's time to swap over the batteries, one of the very last things we need to do. So, you two can connect, you two can connect, and then... What are we going to have to destroy? So, deconstruct wires and this one here, so that that's not getting power from the other line. Is there a way I can deconstruct and be in that power grid mode? Yes, I can. Fantastic. And then we also want to deconstruct this line here. And I think that's it. And then we need to go ahead and attach you to you, and you to you, and finally deconstruct you. So you three are only powering the vitals. Is that actually enough power though? Yeah, yeah, completely enough power, actually a good bit of excess, and I will be adding more manual generators in very, very short times. Okay, so continue and hopefully this won't take too long. It shouldn't do. Also, we just had another day in which we made more oxygen than we consumed. Finally, it seems quite reliable. And there we are, it's done. The manual generators are only connected to this, and all of these are only running from the battery room. Now here's just hoping the batteries don't overheat this room. Even if they do, we still have one more Weezwort to grow. I'm just hoping that this will permanently hold all of the heat.
And who knows, if it's really effective, maybe we could even export some heat from elsewhere into this room. I was thinking about this a moment ago. What we could do is have another ice room, very similar to this, which has a thermoregulator in, and then we can pump the gas from down here into that ice room, and then into the base, therefore super cooling the entire base by simply cooling its oxygen supply. And that was really difficult for me to say for some reason. After one cycle, it seems like the Wheeze Warts are indeed winning and keeping this room super chilled. Absolutely wonderful. Now, one thing I did notice is that for about 90% of the night, when all of the duplicants were asleep, this was still providing power for the electrolyzers and everything else, something which this little battery setup could never, ever do. So I'm really, really happy about that. But it does show that perhaps one more battery is needed to keep these things running 24-7. On the upside though, we definitely don't need any more manual generators, because look, they're almost filled already. A second snazzy suit has been created, and we're giving this one to Nicola. Apparently I was incorrect, we actually managed to go all night without anything turning off, and as such, for once it's morning, people are only just now awake, and we are already ahead on our oxygen production. I think at this point, it's safe to say the game is over for me now. It's everything I wanted to do is now done. We have sustainable food, we have sustainable power, we have sustainable oxygen and water. There is nothing I need to do except for one thing, which is occasionally open up this airlock. This is the only thing the duplicants actually need me for now. They grow up so fast. I guess the only other thing is that eventually we will run out of sand. Eventually. In the distant, distant future. So I should do a bit of work cleaning up all this polluted water and sealing off segments where there is polluted ice constantly melting. But even that isn't really a big deal. We could survive in only polluted oxygen. It's not that bad, at least at the moment. Um, diseases apparently will become more evil as the game gets more developed, but right now it's just not a big deal at all. And as you can see, we're still in the minus digits over here, so this is working perfectly. So with that, Thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the season. If there is another major update or something I really want to cover, I will come back with another season if it is what you would like to see. So, of course, if you have enjoyed the video, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Oxygen Not Included, and perhaps a new series of it, is something you would like to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye. It's been a lot of fun.